Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to the Scarecrow channel. Today I'll be showing you how to fix a leaky carburetor. Let's see how. So you've seen my latest purchase. It's the go-kart that I bought, that yellow and green one. So the carburetor is leaking on it and I wasn't too sure exactly where it was till I took it apart and I have uh, half of it here I believe it's a Briggs and Strutton carburetor so I took the flow the float out of the carburetor and basically examined it and just shook it a little bit and I could hear why it's leaking can you hear that? So this thing is full of gasoline. So I'd, I'd try to take a look as to where, you know, you can't see it here, as to where the hole might be. And I think I found where it could be, but I can't be 100% sure. So I've been trying to do a little bit of research. These are about 20 bucks for a float. So I want to see if I can maybe fix this one. So there's a number of ways to find the leak. I'm going to use the boiling water method. Let me show you how. So what I have here is freshly boiled water. And the idea is that if you have a hole in anywhere in the, car, in the float bowl, or sorry, in the float, the bubbles should pressurize and try to escape the, the float. So let's see if we can make that happen. Turn. I see some bubbles. And you can hear it. Right there. So I, could, I know where it is. Okay, so what we can do now is we have to take the water out. So there again, there's a couple of different ways that we can take the water out. See the wet spot right there? Uh, right here. So, so this trick works. So now we have to see if we can get the water out. So there's a couple ways of getting the water out. Letting it sit out in the sun for, you know, a full day or so or a few hours, depending on how much water you got. B, take a lighter and heat all around and again keep the hole down and then heat all around it and the the bulb the hot air is going to want to escape all the liquids want to is going to want to escape this hole c is dunk it upside down or d upside down to the hole uh, in the hot water again all right so now that you've found out where your leak is, you want to be able to drain the fuel out of the carburetor. On these brass floats, there's always a, a soldered piece right on the top. What you want to do is try to puncture that hole with a ironing, ironing gun. So heat it up nice and then just put it on top of the hole and just let it wait till it goes through. Once it goes through, you can, I, I what I did is I didn't uh, open up the whole thing because it'll be harder to close it back up because it's pretty big. So I just opened up a little bit and then I got myself one of these cups or whatever and then just, just shake it right out till you can't hear any more flip 
fluid. So here's the test. Nothing left in there. So I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Probably not. Um, but there was quite a bit in there for a little um, float like this. So the next thing you want to do is grab some flux, grab a small solder, and what you want to do is solder this thing, solder the hole that you found. So probably the best thing to do, and I'm not going to tell you how to solder, but get your tip all heated up and then just put some of the, put some extra um, solder on the end of your tip, go where your hole is, and then just just kind of press it there and wait for everything to kind of heat up and then just start adding some more some more solder to the to the gun okay so I'm going to attempt that now I'm not going to show you any of that um, and what we can do is once we're done and I think that everything is soldered up what we can do is we can do the hot water dunk again by just holding this hole here and we can dunk it and then bring it back up and we can see if you know if any of the if there's any more leaks so I'll do that and I'll be back alright so I'm done I hope you could see this so what I've done is I've also made a bead all the way around on the inside as you could see it's a little bit puffed out, but what I can do is take a sandpaper to it after and then just smooth it out to so take a little extra stuff out of there. I've also did the hole where I thought that um, the original leak was coming from. So it looks, looks actually really good. And I still think it's going to float pretty good. So there's some higher spots here. I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to use some sandpaper a little bit of this which I had to use anyway uh, to clean off all the joints use some solder paste um, so, so everything's nice and clean and I think I'm going to boil another pot of water get that bowl that you saw before nice and hot of hot water and we're gonna cover up the hole here, dunk it, and we'll see if this worked. If not, we'll go see where there's holes and we'll cover those as well. All right, got some water. Let's do a dunking test. Got a hole right there. I think that's the only spot. Right in there, you can see a little bit of black. Okay, let's solder that up and then we'll come back. All right, so I touched up the spot. Let's take a look. I think we are golden. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is clean up some of the rough edges. I'm going to sand it very lightly and dunk it again and see if it's still good. Alright, so that's done. The hole is now patched and I've sanded it down so it's nice and smooth. Polished up the front and back a little bit. Polished the inside a little bit. And it's ready for a dunking contest. Looks good. Okay, so that's how you do it.
Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something. I saved myself 20 bucks by not buying a new float, just repairing it. And if you have any comments or questions, let me know down below. And if you like this video, please rate it up for me. That would be much appreciated. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, please subscribe down below and you'll get them as soon as they come out. I believe that is it for my time. I thank you for yours. Have a good one. Bye.